Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of Reddit Cheating Stories. My name is Shada Abbasi and today I'm going to share a story of one of my fellow users. She is sharing her experience that was quite unique. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can get the latest updates of the amazing videos that we post. So she says Mac and I met in this show. I'm using the name Mac instead of his real name because I don't want to reveal his identity when we met. I found him a very cool person wiping to the point where everyone don't give a damn about what is happening in his surroundings. He was a person like that. I went to the bar with one of my friends to have some fun on the weekend because my routine was very hectic and I only had one day to enjoy. So she called me and picked up my sluggish ass for the bar to have some fun. She could see how tiresome my routine was. That's why she want me to live out of the box, even if it's for one night only, she always cheered me up in the best possible way. And I love it. That day after all, we were friends from grade 9, we knew everything about each other, our interest, our owns and offs regarding everything and our choices. She always helped me in my decisions and always suggest me the best in my regard. I would completely trust her regarding my decisions and always suggest what exactly she wants me to do. And I always do that. I never failed whenever she suggested me something and I acted upon her advice. She was like sister to me. I used to introduce her as my sister everywhere. But there is this one thing that don't let me live in peace. And that is because of her. That night when we went to the bar, we drank too much in our capacity and later on, we had to face its consequences. We met Mac there, it was very weird for me because she was literally sleeping on him. And it was very embarrassing for me to ask him if he let her go because he was not disturbing him in her sleep. Instead she was sleeping very peacefully on his lap. Excuse me? Can I can't you see somebody sleeping? He replied after that, he offered me to sit on the sofa. I had no option. So I sat there, the conversation went on for a while and I came to realize that he is a person who is a very cool person. Indeed. Gentlemen, when can I say I cannot doubt on him regarding this? But my friend was faint like a drunkard. He didn't took advantage of it. Instead, he let her sleep on her lap. Such a gentleman. He was in a world like this where people worship their lust and end up screwing her into the worst psychological traumas. I didn't know that I'm making a mistake. You know, one should never believe in a person on your first meeting. It was my mistake and I'm still suffering because of it. I fell in love with him. And after a week we were in a relationship, I still regret deciding things so early. What should I say? Now? My whole life is a wreck now and I can never come out of the trauma I faced under the influence of that person. I am still under the influence of it. I'm seeking therapy for it, you know, but the more I try to heal from my wounds, the more they hurt me. Police arrested me so many times for do I and now it became my routine. My law is tired of giving the same reason to court every time, forced me to go to a rehab. But I ran away because it was the most horrible place. And it also added to my traumas when nothing helps you in life. There is only one way out and that is to make you unconscious, dominant over conscious so that you can reach to a state where you don't actually feel pain because your senses perceive it in something else. Only drugs can help us in that regard. And I opted for it in July. Things started getting complicated between us as his real face was revealing before my eyes. I was still not ready to accept it because love makes you a foolish optimist. If it will offer you crap, you will take burden of it on your shoulders because you have to prove yourself a super duper superman. And in your mind, you're the most courageous person in the world. But in reality, you forget that you are a human too. You forget your limits, your boundaries and everything. Because for your love that was for most, I thought that I'm goddess of love and no one can love his or her beloved more than me. I was a silly girl. I was out of my teens, but I forgot that I still have to learn a lot. I had to make experiences to learn good things. But who knew that this girl would be going through the worst experience one can ever have in August? 
It became clear before me that what kind of freak he is and how is he making going through first. He was a sex abuser. But I was okay with it because in 21st century people started accepting such things as one of their greatest fantasies. It was horrible. But I was getting used to it. It was affecting me badly, but any woman can get used to it if she gets to know that her man is loyal to her and will not fuck around. It was exactly the opposite. He used to have hookups with random girls and I was having second thoughts if he have any kind of intimacy with them or not. I was a broad-minded person but living with a psychopath like that changed me into a psychopath as well. He ignored as if I'm 11. But when he wanted intimacy, then he would have it in the most abusive way possible. He never cared about my mental condition. Instead, he used to tell me that I should be grateful that I'm loyal to you and not like other men who cheat on their women in September. I checked his point found that he was deceiving me all this time, but that's not it. He was having a physical relationship with every other girl on her point. I checked the camera all of the Snapchat and found that he had a lot of news there there. You know, like of different girls and most of them were minors. It was very shocking for me. And at that point, I lost all my patience when I asked about all that, showing him the proof. He lied to my face saying that he took all those pictures from a porn left side. I knew he was lying. But at that point, I was helpless in November 1st of his friends contacted him and she was yelling at him on the call that how can you leave me when I need you the most. So she dragged him from the house. But I had to understand that it's his personal matter and I should not be acting silly because friends need each other in hard times. That friend was my sister. And this time it was because really difficult for me. One day, she called me straight up to ask if she can fuck him. I was completely got zoned out. But later I made it clear that it is completely his choice and she should not be asking about such things from me as I have no serious concerns with his personal matters. She said, okay, and then dropped the call after that. They slept in the same bed together where me and my husband used to sleep. I never knew that my best friend who was like my sister could do this to me as it was the most horrible thing. And I expect the least from her to do this with me. It is not about her only but it was seriously disturbing to see all of it happening before my eyes. I was so helpless. I started talking to people and taking sleeping pills as well to get rid of my parts which were making me a psychopath. I made my mind to tell my husband that I have problems with his friendship and how it is affecting me in the worst of the way. When I tried telling him he was completely ignorant towards my stance, none of the things got better. And in the end it was only me, I decided to take revenge for my sister like friends. It's been a month to all of this and now I could not keep this to myself anymore. I decided to go meet her in person. And when I tried to negotiate with her upon doesn't matter if she will not agree, then I will be forced to take a hard decision. I tried fixing all this with her on talking terms. She didn't seem to understand a word of mine. So I went far and beyond her expectations. I killed her in the most gruesome way with the help of dagger we had in our home as a decoration piece. Now that bitch can have any man in the heaven, I'm done and dusted. So peeps if you have liked my story and if you love it, then please go ahead and hit the like button and leave your comment in the comment section.